GIS enabling a smarter world. You and I are living in a world which is evolving rapidly. This world is undergoing a massive digital transformation. Like Craig said, with Twitter feeds coming in, we're now aware of things that we were not able to know before. The world is being wired up with, with, with everything. The Internet of Things promises to measure virtually everything that changes and moves in real time, connected to the web with enormous amounts of data becoming available for our use and disposal. What do we do with all of this data? That's an interesting question. What does it mean? How will we go forward in this wired planet? GIS and mapping, they're becoming essential elements, a kind of fundamental language. And you, ladies and gentlemen, are the people that are the purveyors of this language. A language for understanding our world, yes. Like Richard Saul Werman said, understanding is really where it's at. But also managing our world going forward. Understanding precedes action. This language is providing us all the rich content of our world and will continue to be the framework in the future. But it also is a language providing, providing us context of the world so that we see the context of, of, the, of, of, of the way things are. And your work is the evidence of that. And it's about everything. And it's not just about everything, but all of the interrelationships of everything, the interconnectedness of it. You and I are living in a world which is increasingly challenged. The evidence is, is very clear, even from your own work, in climate change, in loss of nature, in loss of biodiversity, in the web of all of these things creating social conflict. The evidence is clear that our current path is not sustainable. It's a serious statement and not one that I feel comfortable in acknowledging very often. We need to be smarter, ladies and gentlemen. We need to do everything we can. We need to muscle all of the best science, all of the best technology, all of our best thinking, all of our best design thinking, all of our best strategizing. And we need to, we need to understand, and we also need to act together, collaborate to turn this around. GIS, your profession, your technology, provides the framework and the process for creating such a smarter world. It brings together all the data. It integrates the data. It manages the data. It brings it into an abstraction that people can understand, an abstraction that can be easily visualized and inform the world. And the story maps are examples of it. It's a framework that allows you to analyze the relationships between phenomena and model them and create understanding. It's a framework within which we can design and plan for the future. The geodesign philosophy initiated by Carl Steinitz and others. Plan the future, understand the consequences, and then take it to decision makers who implement these actions and understand them and and take it to action in, in real life. This is a kind of cycle from measuring to affecting the world. And your work, however you fit into this cycle, is participating in what I think is a, is a, a virtuous effort, a collective effort, to create a smarter world, a more sustainable future. But we have to get conscious about it. We have to understand that and play at 100%. GIS itself, and here I'll talk about the technology aspect, is getting smarter. The technology is not enough, but it's worth acknowledging 
that the GIS is getting smarter. It's integrating and leveraging so many new tools. Faster computing, of course. More remote sensing, more data collection, more types of data are being integrated into it. And also integrated into it are more advanced tools for, for analysis of this very large data set. Looking at not only 2D and 3D, but also space-time analysis to give us insights to what the future may hold if we do this or we do that. This is about making GIS, your platform, smarter, implemented in the WebGIS pattern. This will help our organizations work smarter, for us to be smarter, to us, for us to be more conscious of what we're up to. What do we mean by smart GIS? It's a variety of things, actually. But one element is being able to connect to this real-time information, the Internet of Things as it emerges, and also remote sensing, measuring the built environment, measuring changes in the natural environment. Smart GIS is also about connecting everyone, creating a system of engagement between people and their organizations, providing context so that we understand as communities what's going on. And GIS and maps are the common language that brings us together. They help us communicate. They help us understand. And they will help us act. GIS embeds advanced analytics and visualization. This is nothing new to you guys. You know it. Analytics, spatial analysis, geoprocessing have been the heart and soul of GIS for a long time. But what's integrating in now is the ability to deal with very, very large data sets and do analytics to create insights and also new tools that you'll be seeing today that allow us to explore and understand better these patterns and create insights faster. SmartGS, in fact, is about integrating everything, connecting people and processes and things and all the data about them. This means integrating our systems of record, like the record keeping, like cadastral or parcel data or, or, or streets or, you know, all the records with systems of engagement, which are individual identities with privileges, apps with systems of insight that allow us to analyze and work with this data. And in fact, the WebGIS pattern brings these three together in a single platform. Very unusual, actually. This will help by bringing the parts of the organization together help organizations understand increasingly in real time, be aware, be alert, be responsive. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what we need in our organizations. We need to break down the barriers, connect it, bring it all together. And for those of you who are skeptical in some ways, I'll simply say, hey, it's already happening. Earthquake alerting, for example, the beautiful app from USGS. It's from early warning labs and USGS. You can have your cell phone and, and subscribe to this, and if an earthquake happens, say, 50 miles from here, it will... Uh, <clears throat> this isn't going to happen, by the way. It would, it would it'll alert me and tell me maybe to get under the table or run for the door. And seconds and minutes actually matter. This is changing how we think and how we act. In the middle example, something that's profound, something, something I've been anxious to share with Craig for a, a, a while is an effort going on by NOAA in collaboration with USGS and others and David Maidman to bring together, uh, well, all of you know NOAA, right? We use NOAA to check the weather five days out. Can I go to the 10 days out? They give nice forecasts of when it's going to rain. This rainfall can now be dropped on top of digital terrain models and run through, so not only run through the networks, run through the streams, so not only can we know five days or 10 days out whether it's going to rain or not, but how much water is going to be going down the channel. This is profound for emergency response. 
It's giving us understanding that we never had before. And then there's the whole world of community engagement where we can now take, as Craig so nicely mentioned, dots on map about what the community is saying. We can take a pulse of what the community is saying. We can take their temperature. We can throw out a proposal like, what do you guys think about these buildings? And get comment in real time. And ladies and gentlemen, this is only 2016. Imagine what's going to happen. In the world of planning, this smart GIS is revolutionizing how we plan by being able to bring together and integrate and make available everything we know. True geodesign. Supporting making cities more livable at the urban design scale or in regional planning or, or the green infrastructure planning that we dream about or even in business development. Smart GIS for me also means being able to engage communities. Many of you have your own GISs, city GISs, for example. Now cities can take their data and make it available openly. But what I'm talking about here is something more. This is the next step. A community GIS pattern is emerging in cities. This means I can copy my open data but put it into a GIS and make it available like a web GIS so that people can create their own story maps in the community. Citizens and, and NGOs can engage and talk to each other using the same language that you use. And schools and startups, we can integrate professional or authoritative data sets into environments that engage everyone. Now, this is not some wild idea. This is actually being implemented first in the city of Los Angeles. They took all of their existing departmental systems, their data sets, and they put it into an open platform that not only helped different departments collaborate more effectively, but helped engage citizens and NGOs and schools. Engaging the community, engaging volunteerism, putting GIS out there, taking the ne next step in the evolution of GIS. And that's exactly what's going on with smart GIS. You're all familiar with the notion of breaking down the barriers, getting individuals in different pockets to share and collaborate around common information. That's what many of you do in your organizations. Certainly Pinellas County was an example of that, bringing shared information, sharing geographic knowledge across the enterprise. What Los Angeles and a number of other organizations are doing is beginning to step beyond that. It all became first real to me when I was in the city of, of LA in the Public Works Department, and I was looking over the shoulder of a young man who was editing, I think it was water lines or sewer lines, I can't remember what it was, Public Works Department, and he had a parcel map behind it. And I said, well, that's interesting. Where is that parcel map coming from? Is it on your desktop? He said, no, 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 it's coming as a service. It turns out that the parcel map is coming as a service from LA County, who does about 150 updates and transactions on parcels every day. He was no longer copying the data, having to update it. He was reading in like dial tone behind his map a base map of parcel data from the county. The city and the county are working together. They're sharing their data as services. They're leveraging each other's transactional work in real time. This is a magnificent notion. And then when I began to look into it, I found many of you are doing this. So the little diagram on the right is suggesting that we are moving to this collaborative, this collaborative network of shared services. And that's exactly what's happening. And Lillian and the mayor's work here is extending the whole GIS world out to another stage. This means that we not only connect individuals or we connect, we connect communities, uh, organizations, but we connect communities of organizations, creating what I would like to call a kind of nervous system of the planet. Isn't that a cool idea? We start to collaborate and share and take GIS to a new level. 
big agency to big agency sharing, just like, just like Craig, you are doing with FEMA, collaborating and sharing your services so that local governments can read it in. And local governments are sharing their services that you can use, empowering everyone 